Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. It's Friday, the weekend is here, and it's being heavily reported that Newcastle could well have two new players in the door before the end of this weekend. So we're going to talk about that in this video today, as well as the fact that Newcastle have now released their new Champions League kit. That's right, not third kit. We are a European team, it is our new Champions League kit, so we are going to take a look at that as well. And you know, the lads are out in America, a few photos, few videos coming out on that one, so we'll talk a little bit about that as well. It's Friday afternoon, Friday evening, so it's not a cup of tea, it's a beer for this video, and it's some of Aldi's finest. So cheers to you guys, cheers to the Friday, cheers to hopefully having Barnes announced very, very soon. I actually thought... That would have been this video tonight, Barnes's announcement, but it seems it's taking a little bit longer. Maybe it'll be when he's out in America. Who knows? But anyway, cheers to the Friday. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Plenty of videos coming out right now, and we'll start off with Harvey Barnes. Obviously, he has been spotted all over Newcastle. He's been spotted at uh, the training ground. He's been spotted at the stadium. Some people even saying... They saw him a few days ago, house shopping up in Northumberland. So it looks pretty sure that Harvey Barnes will be announced as a Newcastle ver player very, very soon. I'm a I was actually surprised they didn't do it at 9 o'clock this morning. I actually thought when they released the new Champions League kit that we will take a look at at the moment, that it wasn't Harvey Barnes walking out in it. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. I thought if it wasn't this morning, it would have been this evening. Well... It's gone 5 o'clock and they still haven't done it yet, so I'm guessing maybe they're waiting until tomorrow or maybe they're even jumping them on a plane, flying them out to America, announce them in America and do something over there for it. I don't know. We'll wait and see. But as of right now, at the time of knowing me, I'll upload this and they will announce it three minutes later. So if that's the case, drop a like and, um, and yeah, drop a like on the video. But yeah, anyway, regardless... Harvey Barnes, I think, will be a Newcastle player very, very soon. It's been the case that Eddie Howe wants him. Harvey Barnes wants the move. Um, personal terms have agreed. He's shopping for houses. All that's been missing is that payment to Leicester and that agreement on a fee. And it's thought that the fee is £38 million. So you guys can let me know your thoughts on that one down below. It is a little bit higher than maybe I thought it was going to be, but... I think, you know, Harvey Barnes will bring a lot to this side. People have been shown comparisons with him alongside Saka. You know, fair enough, Saka's still young and I think will get better as he, as he gets a little bit older. But just purely based on the fact that Saka has so much praise in the press right now in terms of appearances, goals and assists, they're very comparable, you know? So I think we are getting a good player there. And it's not just that. You talk about... Fast players, strong players, tricky players, Eddie Howe players. It's becoming its own filter. It's its own type of player now. And I just think Harvey Barnes is it. I just think he's the kind of guy who is going to work hard for this team. He's going to add numbers in terms of goals and assists. And I think he'll fit what Eddie Howe likes in a player to play there, do that, listen to this, listen to that. And, you know, it all comes back down to Eddie Howe trying to build a team that kind of works in, in the way he's the way he kind of plays football and yeah that's not just that's not the only player we're being linked with right now huge links coming out right now to Tino Livermento to the point where people are saying we could well have both of those signings before the end of the weekend I mean wow um I'll tell you what we've the dominoes have been lined up and we've just flick them over you know and I, and I do think the dominoes are starting to fall and those players will start coming in and you know, we'll come back to T Tino Livermento and another player in a moment but I will quickly touch on Maxi yeah it looks it looks likely that Maxi is heading over to Saudi Arabia Fabrizio Romano talking about medicals being booked and, and getting them underway and I think that was part of it I think Maxi going was what knock those nom dominoes down and, and now we're starting to see players coming th through the door and you know thir that's again 30 million euros for maxi i think that's low i, th I think it, it, sh it should have been more um but in terms of ffp and i'm not going to explain all of that in, the, in this video but um in terms of ffp 
You know, 30 million in can equal 120 million over five years. You know, we can spend it all this window. We'll worry about the money next year and the year after and the year after that when we get to it, you know. By the time we've got a few um, new sponsors, uh, some Champions League football, Champions League money, if we can get into a decent round, you know. We'll work all that out in the future. We're not bothered about next year. We're bothered about now. And that money coming in from Maxi's just flipped that domino down and, and all of a sudden it's the Harvey Barnes. It's hopefully... Well, probably announced as of two seconds after I upload this video. Um, Livermento is thought to be coming in in the next few days. And uh, Lewis, the youngster, Lewis Hall from Chelsea. Um, Left-sided player, left-back, youngster. Looks like it's on Newcastle's radar as well. And funny enough, he has the same agent as the other two. Barnes, Livermento and uh, Lewis Hall all have the same agent. And, you know, we've been talking about... Livermento first. Um, I like him. I think he's he's a very good player. I think if you could have Trippier and then him behind, you know, do it. That, that's it. Do, do we need Trippier, Livermento, Mankio, Crafty, and who have I missed? Ashby. And when we haven't even got a left back, but that's the thing. We are looking at left backs. Young Lewis Hall is apparently on Newcastle's radar for a fee of around. 10 million it's thought to be you know a reasonable fee for for a young guy with a lot of potential where we are with that one we're not quite sure but it appears that it's on Newcastle's radar and Barnes and Livermento are the two that seem to be you know knocking down the door of of Newcastle and who knows could we have the pair of them in America in time for and that's what I say Barnes could be on his flight there already maybe that's what's taken so long we'll have to wait in here but could we have Livermento and another player through very very soon as well could well do, and I, I don't think that's the end either. I think we'll, I think we'll keep going. Tell you what, if we could have, even if we just said Barnes, Livermento, and Tonali done at this time in the uh, summer already, ah, it's cracking that. Really, really good. Livermento can play both sides. Trippier can play both sides. Mankio can play both sides. So maybe those are the three you kind of stick with for the right. Ashby out on loan. Crafty, you know, says his goodbyes or, or whatever. And then you look on the left hand side. You've got. Bernie target in a another young another young left back or do you want more than that? You have to let me know your thoughts on that one down below. And then, what about the the new Champions League kit? I like it. <laughs> I, I do. I like it. I think I think Newcastle have scored this season with the kit. I think the home kit, the black and white shirt, is quality. You can, the home kit normally is decent. The, the away kit, I, I like the away kit. The green almost looks like a Nigeria top. And then we've got the new Champions League kit. As I say, not a third kit, we're in Europe. It is our Champions League kit going into next season. You know, it's, people were saying it was going to be blue. And I, I know we had blue and kind of, you know, not quite blue and, and gold. And it's not quite that sponsor, is it? But I will say, Seller, I think they've done all right with these... In terms of not being a blue fun 88 across the front of your shirt, I think the sellers look way better. I think the colour coded, the match the shirt, spot on. A black seller on a black and white top is way better than a blue fun 88. I think like a yellow gold seller on the new Champions League kit is is quality as well. So yeah, I'm I'm happy about that. You let me know your thoughts on that one down below. Pricey if you want to uh, if you fancied buying all three, seventy pound a top or. A hundred if you get the, the badges and the name on the back, but at least we're seeing that money. Now, hopefully we'll see it when Barnes walks through the door any second now. Um, or, you know, with the changes they're making in the stadium, putting in safe standing, you know, they're doing a whole, they're doing a whole lot right now. And it, and it does feel like a nice feeling to go out and actually buy your shirt and not be looking over your shoulder thinking, God, is anybody going to see us in the club shop? Because I'm, I'm supporting, you know, an ownership that really, for me, was was really not giving anything back. Um, it's actually fun to go out and have a bit of a spending spree, enjoy enjoy your money, you know, it's, you work, people work hard for it and there's not a lot of it around at the minute, so yeah, if you can go out and buy a shirt, you can. I think I'm probably gonna go home kit. I still haven't got one yet, I need to go down there and get one. I think I'm gonna get a home kit, wait for the Champions League word to come out, get that on the back with the badges, and then maybe, you know, Christmas sales. We'll have a look at the uh, <laughs> we'll have a look at the third kit. But yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys, down below on the new third kit. On Barnes, hopefully signing any second with Livermento reportedly signing as soon as the end of this weekend. And could um, 
the youngster as well, Louis Hall from Chelsea, be another one on the radar of Eddie Howe. Thank you for watching, guys. Enjoy your Friday night. If you've not subscribed yet and you watch my videos every day, then be sure to go and hit the button. It really helps the channel. Um, and yeah, enjoy your weekend. Thank you for watching. Go and get a new one of these, and I'll catch you later.